guys. Welcome to my little part of the day where I like to call Jaisal's second cup of joe. Except, uh, sadly, my coffee is really expensive and I can only make um, one cup a day at the moment, so I'm having vanilla chai black tea instead. But that's not the point. The point is, I wanted to share with you um, guys, well, not necessarily an exercise from Joseph Pilates, but similar concept that I would use from my Pilates practice and kind of taking it into a little bit more strength training work. So, uh, outside of that, we're going to be talking about shoulders today. And when it comes to shoulders, I know not everyone has like, you know, their entire like gym and equipment at home but I often see a lot of people whether they're lifting weights over their head or without weights and they bring your arms overhead this whole overhead uh, overhead press movement I see a lot of people that really overextend their arms and their they it just doesn't seem like a very balanced position because you know their arms up and their arms straight so they're really locking out their their elbows but then they have this huge stretch from their their lats and then like their shoulders are tilted so I want to kind of give you guys an idea of kind of like how to fix that. What happens when, when, when you have your arms overhead and you're really trying to stretch and you're tilting over, it could be a, a lack of range of mo motion in your shoulders. So we're gonna try this test. You're going to bring your arms forward you're going to straighten your arms and reach forward, and then you're going to open up your shoulders and pull back for that rowing motion. And it's just a little exaggerated move. So arms forward, nice and straight, shoulders forward, and then shoulders back, retracting elbows back. Go ahead and do that a couple times. So arms straight and then pull. It's pretty common to think that when your arms are forward and shoulders are forward you get a little bit more extension into your elbows which you know in this this move that there's that movement pattern that's really thinking like oh for me to be able to straighten my arm my shoulders have to be be lifted but that's not not always the case because when your shoulder is up, you know the muscles around um, the top of your shoulder that you're using will be a lot of your deltoid muscles that go over the top of your shoulder. But that's not always going to give you the most stability just because of like where it will only give you stability in this upper range and allow you to overuse your, your trap muscles. But you really want to be able to access all of your rotator cuff muscles, your lats, like all these big, larger, well, rotator cuff muscles aren't, um, aren't large, but they are very important in just stability with your shoulders. So we did this, kind of feeling the test, and if your arms are forward, you know, you know, you can get your elbows straight, hopefully. And when you have your, your elbows pulled back and then your shoulders back, then you're really opening up the and feeling that, that pull. We're gonna start here. So go ahead and open up your shoulders. Keep your shoulder blades back. And then try to bring your arms forward. All right, once your arms are forward, straighten out your elbows. All right, so you have shoulders back, elbows straight. And if you're really tight in your arms, you might have like this wide, the position. You're going to try to squeeze from your chest muscles 
bringing it inward, but avoiding this rounding position. So if you, even if you have to reset shoulders, straighten your arms, and just as much as you can, squeezing in. If you pass this test, then we're going to do this overhead. If not, don't worry. I'll give you some tip, tips after we do the overhead test in a bit. So, overhead test. You're gonna reach up, feel that stretch. You know, arms are straight, arms are overhead. Probably don't wanna hold weight overhead when you're in this position. And drop. And then up, and shoulders up, and then drop. One more time. Up, big reach, and down. Okay, so you know your shoulders can go down while your arms are bent. Now try to keep your shoulders down and then bring your arms a little bit higher than shoulder height. Might be wide, it's okay. Now shoulders down, you're gonna try that squeeze. So squeeze, 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 squeeze as much as you can. Whatever you like or wherever you can to avoid this whole pinching the neck. You, you want to be able to breathe, be able to keep your shoulders down and just squeeze. Good. If you're still, if you can get to this height, then you are all set, ready to go and have this whole press. It's, it's pressing and you still have this space, shoulder blade is dropped down, lats are engaged, and then elbows, I still have a little trouble with this straight right there, as opposed to this very instable, it's like, yes, you're pushing up to the sky, but what muscles are you really using to stabilize your shoulder at that point? So, if, if you had trouble going here, it's really stuck in the in your range of motion. First, wants to be able to stretch your muscles. So, if you're up here and you're probably like really tight in your chest, maybe into your traps, I am going to let's see. I like to use a tennis ball. If you don't have a tennis ball. Hopefully you will say you have a pair of socks. So I'm gonna grab a pair of socks. I'm gonna grab a few pairs of socks. And I've never tried this out before, <laughs> but we're going to test it. I do if you have a tennis ball, tennis ball would be great. But I'm going to try to bunch up all of these socks together and try to make it nice and dense. You can like stuff it into one. Yes, these are like little mushroom socks. So try to make it, you can even roll it up as tight as you can, like a few, few socks and then stuff it into one sock. You're going to take this either while you're laying on the floor or even up against a wall and right over your chest. From here, let's see if might look a little weird, but it's okay. We're gonna try it out. So it's right in front of your shoulder. You'll know when you're in the right spot when once you start to put a little pressure onto it. Find that spot that's a little tender. That's this actually is probably a good density, especially if you're still like pretty sensitive and tight in this area. You're going to lay down either on floor or against the wall and you're just going to lay there so arm will just be down by your side find that nice and then have your head facing away from your shoulder you just take a few breaths breathing letting your muscles relax downwards you can even sh kind of shift side to side, getting kind of like all into this front part of your of your shoulder. Even if you have a um, tennis ball, you can use that and roll it around. Feel free to get creative. Maybe your dog has 
a tennis ball or they have like one of those um, dog toy balls, whatever, probably put a clean sock over it or wash it or something before you start rubbing this all around your body. But that, that's a really good way just to relieve the tension. Then you can take a stretch, right it up against the wall, kind of bring your arm in line with your shoulder. So pretend while you're here. You're going to turn your head away and just lean into the stretch, hold for three breaths, and then release. Once you have that all stretched out and you're nice and able to move, you're gonna grab, if you have one, one of these. I love these, they're super versatile. It's called the TheraBand, or some people like to call them a T-Band. Whatever part of the world that you're in, you can also do these without, without the band, but just to start to strengthen rotator cuff muscles, take your palms facing upwards, band is just around palms, bring your elbows by your side, you can sit up nice and tall, and then you just work on your external rotation. So elbows in, really feeling your shoulders pulling outwards, go for about 10 reps. And then we'll do internal rotation. So you can tie this, I'm just going to tie this around here for now. We'll <laughs> do this for now. So sitting up nice and tall, you don't have to use your leg by the way, you can tie it up against the door or your couch or wherever you are at home, but something stable. Sit up tall, elbow by your side, and internal rotation right here. So internal and external. If you don't have a band, you're gonna take it off to the side. Just bring awareness. This is where we're throwing a little bit more of the concept from Joseph Pilates, where we have that mind-body connection. You have your arms. Imagine like your arms are just kind of dead weight. You're going to move your shoulder blades, but just allow your arms to just move. And it might take a few times to get this Go ahead and close your eyes and just feel your arms moving, but only because your shoulder blades are moving. Just bring your awareness into your body instead of using external forces. Not that it's a bad thing to be able to do that, but sometimes it's just great to be able to know what we are controlling in our bodies. Yeah, so that's just something to work on. And then over time, you can start to change the angle, lift up and rotate, and just kind of tying all this muscle control with your body to be able to hold your shoulders down and bring your arms overhead. Yeah, sound good? Go ahead and try that. Let me know what you think. Uh, I would love to share with you guys more if you have any questions. I have about four spots left in my VIP personal training program. If you're looking to get, get in shape or stay in shape during this entire stay at home madness, I am your girl and I'm here to help you out. Feel free to reach out to with me for that. And FYI, I'm also doing a free seminar little workshop this Saturday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a free workshop. I just posted um, about it yesterday. We're going to be talking about maintaining athletic performance at home. So if you've ever been, well, whether you have been super active in sports or wanted to get in, back into sports right before this whole quarantine madness, then I will give you my best tips on how to still maintain your skills and your abilities to be able to do that and it's free to sign up link is on uh, my on the event it will be through zoom and yeah that's all have a happy i don't even know what day it is anymore wednesday happy wednesday guys cheers <laughs>